Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to another vlog. So today, I'm very excited for this vlog. I don't know if it's going to be a one part, two part, three part. I don't know how long this is going to take, but today we are going to start my official studio garage makeover. So here's the deal. I live in a very nice three bedroom townhouse and I have this room, which is my office room. And then I have the other room, which is my studio room, which you guys have seen me in. It's this room and it's pretty good size room and I work really well in it. Here's like a full, full perspective of it. It's a pretty decently large room, but the only thing is I'm finding myself running out of space, especially when I have like someone here helping me out. The room just feels very small. I can't have two people cutting out at the same time. I can't have that many orders cut and like ready to be sewn because I just don't have space to like organize them all. And I just feel like I'm limiting myself in how much I can produce just based on my space. And if I want to kind of grow my business, obviously I need to have somebody helping me out a lot more and to do that I kind of need more space for them to be able to help me out more so that's kind of the vibe obviously this room is perfectly fine and I'm still gonna leave it here because I still would like to film in this room because it's gonna be a lot nicer to film in but I do want to have a more like workshop type area in my garage which I will show you guys right now Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Skillshare has so many options of classes that you can take, including marketing, finances, entrepreneurship, and even creative ones like painting and drawing, and so much more. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Recently, I've been trying to up my TikTok game, so I've been taking this master TikTok class by Taylor Lauren and it's been super helpful and kind of just refreshing my mind in what I need to do to kind of succeed again in that. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. I have a huge garage, which is totally like unnecessary. Like I have a two and a half car like garage and I live by myself and I have a Mini Cooper. So it's like literally like my garage is so empty and it just would be such a good space to have a good full studio. So it's kind of what we're gonna do. So this is what my garage looks like. As you can tell, it's really, really big. I actually already got a another table. My dad's going to build me another cutting table with that, so that's why that's there. I just bought a, another sewing machine, like an industrial one, um, so I have that there, and this is stuff that I'm going to have to like actually get out of the way, but I want to redo this whole garage and make it a studio, especially since I do have these little windows coming from my garage door. Like There actually is a lot of really good light in here, and that way I can actually have like multiple people helping me out at the same time time and just have so much more space to kind of keep things a little more organized especially like fabrics and stuff too I find myself kind of running out of room with those and just kind of like feeling very claustrophobic with how much stuff I have so I'm super excited to do this little garage makeover I'm just gonna keep my car outside all the time I really don't care like I never had a garage to put it in in high school because my parents both had their cars in their garage so like I'm very used to like never having my car in a garage like this was the first time I've ever had one and like it's fine it's great but like not the end of the world so I've been playing with this idea of making my garage a studio for the entire summer my mom kind of suggested it around like May and I was like oh I'll do it when I get back from like California when because this was like pre-fashion show and then I got back from the fashion show and life has just been like so crazy since and I just hadn't found the time so I decided this week that we're just gonna go through with it we're gonna start and get things done so I'm gonna go with my parents to Lowe's or Menards or something later to kind of look at some flooring options I want to put those like puzzle piece uh flooring type things that are kind of like foamy mats on my garage floor obviously so that I'm not just like on concrete and it looks nicer it's cleaner and all of that. Then I'm also going to paint the walls white because currently they're just like not necessarily painted so I want to paint it all white and then I'm gonna also paint the sewing machine that I just bought and I would like to buy another one so I can have like a couple industrial ones for me to have somebody else helping me out and then we're gonna build the table which I already have the board for and I'm currently buying the cutting mat that goes on top of it which I will link down below for you guys I finally found the link to the original one I got it's gonna be the same exact table that I have up here but downstairs so it's an eight by four and my dad builds it so he just like buys the piece of wood he buys legs for it and 
just builds it because it's kind of hard to find a custom cutting table like that and they're very expensive so this is like much cheaper way to do it and just more customizable so very thankful to have a very handy dad that can do that for me so gonna do that gonna buy the the cutting mat right now we're gonna go to Lowe's later so we're gonna get things started hopefully this isn't too long of a process and we can actually get this done within like a week or two because I really want to like actually start using it ASAP but we will see I am very excited so I will catch you guys in a little bit As you just saw, I cleared out pretty much all the random stuff I had over there from when I moved in. There was just like a bunch of random things left like in my room or just in general that my parents found around the house and they just like left it there and I just didn't know what to do with them, didn't go through it. Just like really random things. I got a bag of stuff to like donate to Goodwill because just like a bunch of random little decor things and just random miscellaneous items that I don't really need. I got that cleared up. I basically just have shelves, that like hanging shelf over there too, which I'll definitely be using, other random things. I got all the boxes from my embroidery machine and stuff out of the way. I put those away in a closet because I do have to keep them just in case. And yeah, got it all cleared up. Yesterday my parents and I went to Lowe's and we got paint. My dad has one of those like spray paint type things so we can just like spray the whole wall and we don't have to like actually paint it, um, which will be nice. So we got paint for that. We ended up getting paint for the floor because we looked at all of the little tile things that I had previously kind of like thought about and they're really expensive. They were like $25 per like yard, like square yardage, which for a two and a half car garage is a lot. So we decided to go with just painting the floor, obviously making it look a lot nicer and sealing it in that way. And then I think I'm gonna get um, a couple of rugs or something just to kind of keep it a little more homey and cozy and then obviously warmer for the winter because the winter here is very cold and this garage is going to literally be freezing Obviously, I'll have to get like a space heater or something for that time, but I also just want to make sure like the floor isn't like freezing. So I'll have to look up some rugs. I think I'm going to look on like Facebook Marketplace first and see if there's anything around here that I can look at. If not, see what I can find. But that's kind of where we're at with everything right now. My parents are coming over in a little bit and I think we're going to start painting everything, getting everything kind of figured out. So that's why I got everything kind of cleared out of the way as much as I could. I'm so excited to finally start this process. So I will catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's the next day. Yesterday, my dad painted the garage for me. I ended up like starting the time lapse and then I realized that my camera would literally get paint all over it if I left the time lapse in there. So didn't end up finishing that just because the spray like gun thing like sprays a lot and it just like comes off a lot. So that's all done. I will show you guys later in this vlog, but yeah. Yesterday, I also started going through Facebook Marketplace to find machines and seeing if there's any used ones. Obviously, when it comes to anything like furniture wise or just like any pieces of my home I like to look up secondhand items first because a it's a lot more affordable but b obviously it's a more sustainable option and especially with machines when it comes to industrial ones which are the type that I want to buy the older like antique models that people are getting rid of for really cheap because it's like their grandma sewing machine or whatever like those were built to last like old sewing machines are probably more powerful than the ones made nowadays like I just think things that were made in the 1900s are probably just made to last a lot more than things nowadays and like the technology of a sewing machine has always been the same it's not like there's much difference in it really like besides like maybe having like an actual like screen on a sewing machine and changing all the different like little stitches and stuff but I really don't use decorative stitches ever and I have an embroidery machine if I want to do that so I just need like a straight stitch machine and like that's all I need and like for buttonholes and stuff I can use my home sewing machine but yeah I ended up finding quite a few uh, vintage sewing machines that I really like and I found two specifically that are in my area Area that are almost identical which just makes it better aesthetically speaking that just because it would look the same that are in like really good condition everybody says they're working just fine and they were like $170 which is so cheap for an industrial machine 
machine. The new industrial machines are like thousands of dollars, so it's just not in my budget whatsoever. But let me show you guys the ones that I found that I'm actually gonna go pick up later with Kennedy. She's going to come with me because she has a minivan, so we can actually fit it in there because my car can't fit it. I have a Mini Cooper, so there's just no space for that. But let me show you guys what I found. So I found this one where the table is literally the most disgusting color ever, but we can easily paint over that, so I'm not really worried about it but it looks so pristine like the actual machine itself is like so clean and so nice and it says it's working here and it's very well maintained has the accessories and such and then i also found this one which you can see is kind of like a similar model i think they're different years but the general machine is kind of the same and this one also says it's working it looks like it's in really good condition like there's not really much wear and tear in it so i'm gonna get these two i'm super excited this person already answered that i can go pick it up today but i'm waiting for this person to uh, see if i can pick it up because they're kind of in the same general area so it'd be really nice to go pick both of them up at the same time I'm gonna go pick those up um i'm so excited about them just because I've been meaning to get industrial machines for a while. They're so much faster, much more powerful, and also the fact that they come like built into the table makes it easier to sew because your fabric isn't like falling off the side of the sewing machine because it's like at level with the table, so it's not like getting dragged, if that makes sense. Super excited. Um, I will catch you guys later when we go pick them up. So we just got back from getting the machine. So this is the other one I had, but this is the one we just got. And it is literally in such good condition, guys. Like, it was this guy's grandma's. So I always feel bad when people tell me that. I'll set you down here, let me bring it up. I always feel bad when people tell me that because it's like you're taking a piece of their like family history with you, but obviously they had no use for it and they just wanted to have a good home. So here she is. This is obviously the back. Here's the front of it. It's literally so beautiful. It's in pristine condition. Like there's no wearing on this or anything. It works just fine. The light turns on supposedly when it's actually plugged in. So yeah, super pretty. The other guy answered me and I'm gonna go pick up the other one tomorrow morning. So I'm very excited about that. And then I'll have both of the machines that I want. Cause I'm not sure if this other one that I got at Goodwill is gonna work or not just because I had to order the um, pedal for it and you just never know but it was only 20 bucks so I really don't care if it doesn't work like it's not like I invested into it or anything so I do want to get these two that actually do work and I know they work and have that one as a backup if I need it but yeah super excited that I'm finally like starting to get pieces for all this to come together I think it's gonna be such a cute vibe to have like vintage sewing machines to work on just for the aesthetic of like video purposes and just like I don't know for like my own like enjoyment of aesthetics like it's just so pleasing and I think I'm gonna enjoy sewing a lot more if it's like on this beautiful antique piece. So very excited about that. Anyway, I will catch you guys tomorrow when we go pick up the other one. It's been a couple days, actually probably a week. I don't know how long it's been since I last vlogged for this little uh, video, but I wanted to give you guys an update because I think today we might be kind of wrapping things up a little bit as far as the functionality of this studio. Obviously it's gonna take me a while to kind of, you know, decorate it and get it where I want it to be, but I decided to go ahead and take the bins that were in this closet and bring them downstairs. So I'll show you guys literally how big this closet is. It is a giant, like this huge walk-in. You could probably put an entire freaking bed in here, but I took it out of here so I don't know what I'm gonna really fill this closet with anymore but not really a problem and it's downstairs now this is literally such a mess right now and this is also a mess right now I have yet to figure out if I'm going to like take all of this and bring it down too and just make the downstairs like my permanent studio basically or if I'm gonna leave this here and the studio downstairs I've yet to figure that out but you know this is where we're at here now I'll show you guys where we're at with the actual garage the walls have been painted the floor is painted two of the three sewing machines have been painted or at least started to I think they still need like maybe one last coat and the third sewing machine I was waiting for the pedal and the wire to get here because I had to order it because it's the one that I got at Goodwill that didn't have it so I got that and it does actually work and I'm very excited about it and it doesn't seem to be like a zigzag only machine it actually like looks like it's just a straight stitch so really good so that's that one um so it works but it's not painted yet but these do have been painted this one definitely needs another coat still because it's the one that had like green
paint under it, so it's like kind of not very well uh, painted just yet. This one looks pretty good. I think there might be like one last coat, if anything, but they both look really nice. I've yet to actually like, you know, clean them and stuff afterwards, but very excited about that. Like I said, I brought these down here, so that's there. And we have the board for the actual table and my cutting mat thing also came, so that's on top of that. My dad got the um, legs of the table, so he's gonna build that today. I got a couple chairs for the sewing machines. And yeah, I have a mirror back there. I have this hanging rack that I already had. So I bought some nice hangers for it. And that's kind of where we're at with this whole thing. I have a couple lamps that I brought from my parents' house. They had extras of, and yeah. So basically, all we really have left is to you know finish up painting the machines, get them like set up in their place, get the cutting table up. Once the cutting table's up, now I can like really use this as a functional space. And then I'm gonna kind of, I think maybe feel it out as far as if I want to bring all of my studio stuff down here or what I want to do with it. And also like what kind of shelving I might need if I want to bring all of my fabrics down here. Cause like obviously that's a good amount of them, but it's not all of them. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to really separate the spaces is kind of where I've been at and kind of been very back and forth about it. Cause I don't see myself like going back and forth between two different spaces. Like I don't see myself being like upstairs and downstairs and going back and forth between the two. Like I like to have everything in one place, but I also don't know if like, I don't know, like I love my studio up here and it has so much good light too. So it's like, I don't want to like completely undo it up here. So I don't know what I'm going to do because I really love the studio up here and it's such a good setup, but I just like practically didn't see myself going between the two spaces, but I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to have to feel it out and kind of start using the space downstairs and see how I like it and see kind of like what I feel like I'm missing and then we'll kind of figure it out. But yeah, today we're going to hopefully get the table set up and a few more last minute things kind of set up there and hopefully I can start actually using it. So the garage is finally done. As far as the functionality, obviously there's a lot of like decoration and little things I would like to do, but for now, the functionality of it is set up and it's ready. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour. There's not really too much to show, but very excited and I'm just like ready to start using it. I really haven't used it yet because I wanted to wait till I did the official tour of it because I just wanted everything to look nice and not be uh, all over the place. So let's get into it. So here is is an overview of it. As you can see, it's still pretty spacious because I haven't really filled up this side at all. So over here, I have the three machines already and like painted. They look so, so nice and all of them work. I got the pedal for it that's like sitting over there. I don't know why I don't have it over here yet, but um, this one does work. It works really well and it's not just a zigzag machine. So uh, it does a straight stitch, which is really nice because I, I thought this one may have been just a zigzag machine just because it says that on it, but tested it out and it does do a straight stitch so I'm very excited about that so these are all three of them and I've got two chairs they're doing yard work out there so I don't mind that anyway got these two chairs I have these rugs in place here just because I think that it's easier to kind of like vacuum up a rug with like threads and like all the dust that comes off of uh, sewing easier than it is to like sweep it up on this floor and then I have a couple of fans out here for just like summertime in case I need them they're from my parents house my bikes just sitting here at least it fits the like like vintage vibe. I just, it's obviously still a garage, so I need it to function as a garage. And then I have a couple lamps also from my parents' house. Since they're probably moving soon, they just kind of gave me any leftover things that they had. I have my cutting table here. It's the exact same one as the one upstairs. My dad built this one for me, and I brought over a couple of stools that are also from my parents' house that they didn't want anymore, so I figured I could have them since they're like to the height of the table. I could actually like sit and work, which would be fun instead of always standing. I showed you guys that I brought over the little cube shelf thing and I've got a couple more fabrics up here too. I haven't really figured out the whole organization thing as far as how I want to have fabrics and stuff like here and whatnot, but you know, I've got that there. This still is kind of like a mess as far as like just having stuff uh, randomly placed. I got this fun little mirror here because I like to like try things on while I'm sewing and just like make sure things fit. So yeah, pretty nice little mirror. Then I showed you guys I have this rack and I got a bunch of hangers. Um, this rack is actually the one I had in my New York apartment and um, I was gonna throw it out, but then I figured I might as well just keep it out here. And then we have this very uh, not stable little thing to cover up my uh, trash cans because like I said, this is still a garage. So, uh, you know, my trash cans are back there and my shovel and like all that stuff is still has to be there. So yeah, that's kind of what the space looks like. As you can tell in daylight, like I get a lot of light in here from 
these windows so it's actually really nice and as far as like heat I feel like it's pretty well insulated in here and it actually doesn't get that hot at all which is really nice like it's a very comfortable temperature in here right now even though like you know it's the garage and it's super hot outside so not too bad like I said I haven't actually fully used this space yet because I've kind of just been uh, waiting to film this video and also I've been working by myself so I don't really need to be down here yet because I like to be you know upstairs if I'm just working by myself but I'm hoping that in the next couple of months I can start using this space a lot more once I you know am producing more and having more help with all that so I'm super excited with how it's all turning out I'm just super happy with the space and just how everything's looking being able to have like all of this is just so freaking cool and I'm so so happy about it so anyway I'm gonna end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing this little process video and seeing the actual garage itself I feel like there wasn't too much to it um I feel like I didn't film everything because I kind of just kept forgetting and also my parents were helping with so much that I sometimes feel bad like filming them all the time so yeah but hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'm super happy with how it turned out and I'm very excited to use it now so yeah that is it for today's video and I will see you guys in the next one bye